And now let's go back and open up Microsoft Word. Let's blow up the font. We have QWE, RTW, right? And let's do again left shift alt. Now we see that cursor has changed in appearance, has that little bit of a tiny flag. So we know that we're now Arabic, for example. Let's do Q. And alhamdulillah, we have Q. Sheen is W. E is Ain, like E. R is Ra. T is Ta. Now, what about Ta? So this is the soft Ta. What about Ta? Now, let's just change this since we've already hopefully installed the more beautiful appearing. Script. I have other scripts as well on Fonseo. For example, I have Dhabi. I have Andalus, which is a beautiful script as well. And they're available out there for free. You just have to search for it. Without, obviously, make sure you don't install any malware. You have Arabic typesetting is also very good, particularly if you're doing a lot of typing in both in English and Arabic because you don't want any disconnects. The spacing is going to be off if you're using both, typing both English and Arabic, which most of us are doing anyway who are teachers and students. So Arabic typesetting is nice in terms of like not having big spaces between those lines which have some Arabic in them and then English. Another one which I like is so going down. I mean, I have a lot of different fonts installed here. And this Microsoft. There's another one is nice is Uyghur. May God free our brothers and sisters who are suffering under oppression there in China. Ah, traditional. Okay, so traditional, we'll blow that up a little more. So this is nice, right? So we have QWER. Now, what about we said TA? So TA, right? T, how to get to the TA? We, we said that if you remember, shift and T would be TA. Y is actually going to be TA, not. Yeah, so the Y is actually a tha. Keep note of that. Then we have the what's the U? U is a wow, right? U. The I is a yeah. So the I is a yeah. The O actually is like a ha, right? The from the throat, deep in the throat. The P is actually, if you look at it, it looks like a ta marbuta, and that's what it is. So it's P, P, so there's no P obviously in Arabic, it's a ta marbuta. Now for the Hamza, the left bracket would be the Hamza Kasro or E, right? Like for example, Ibrahim. The Hamza Fatha would be like Anzala. And the forward slash would be the Hamza without any seat. So just like for example, Sama. So Sama, you would use that. So that's the Hamza like, or Dua, right? So what about if you want to do Alif Mad? So this Hamza, if you do can shift and that Hamza thing, it will be Alif Mad. So that's where you put the Alif Mad. Then we have A is Alif. And if you are into classical Hamza to Wassel, you would do a shift A to get that Hamza to Wassel. The S is a scene. Again, what about the Saad? Well, you do a shift S and then you get a Saad. The Dal, the soft letter Dal. If you want the hard da will be the shift D would be dad. Then F is fa. Jean is rain or G is rain. The H is ha. And also, if you forget about the the, the other ha, you would have to shift in H and you get the other ha. Then you have G a J for jean, K for calf, the soft calf. Then you have the L for lamb. Then colon would be semicolon colon semicolon is there you have the quotations that would be the brackets let's go forward so we have then z would be zane or za and the shift z would be the the hard version of zane then we have x is really not important I mean, we can just ignore x even though here we also did for the uh, and again, but this is simply phonetic. C is if you can imagine that this sort of looks like a little bit like a kha without the dot. So C is a kha. The V is actually a dal. So just think of it as a inverted or 
we're looking at the with the without the dot. That's the al b is ba, noon is or n, m is meme. Left bracket is right bracket. You have question mark. You're going to question mark in Arabic. You can do shift question mark and that's you get that. If you have any questions, the Microsoft Keyboard Layout Creator file and I'll show you the specific mappings of everything. It's a little tricky if you want to change the layout which I have presented for you here in this file. It may or may not work. If you want to, for example, change whatever I have here and then save it in your own file, you can try it. It may or may not work. But at least this thing, just having this installed, will allow you to type in Arabic phonetically. And, you know, the more you're used to it, the more you get used to it, it will be second nature. One thing also is, again, the tashkil. So, sort of, for example, if you want to do something like Zaid is in the house. So, for example, without tashkil, you would do Zaidun fil bait. I suppose you need, I have to type this in wherever, whether it's a word process or word file you're submitting or on the computer, you're doing an assignment, re writing a book or whatever. So let's just do Z, Z. Then to put a fata on this, you would do right alt A. Right alt A, like A for a, uh, right? That's the fatha. If you want you to put a Fatatain, Tanween on, you would just go up on the A and go to right alt and Q. That would be the Fatatain. So right above the Fatha is the Fatatain. Now suppose if you wanted to put a Dhamma on the Z, you can do the S, right alt S, that's Dhamma. Suppose you want to do Dhamma Tain on the Z, you would do right alt W. If you wanted to do a Kasra, you would do right alt D, you get the Kasra. You want to custodian right alt e above the d. So those are the vowels. Suppose you want to do the tukun on the za. So you go to o, right alt o, and that's it. You got that. Suppose you want to do a shadda on the za. You would do now that's the r right of e and right alt shadda. So those are the main technical marks. Uh, you can also do, for example, alt i. That's also another letter for kasra. Alt u would be o like U, and then A. So if you want to do purely for next, you can do Alt A, I, and O would be, if you forget exactly where your Kasra Dhammatain are, but still the Dhammatain would be QWE. Uh, it's not a perfect world, but I'm hoping this again would allow a few more ease in your Arabic progression. We have our Arabic phonetic keyboard installed on our Microsoft computer or laptop. And this will really make things easier for you as well. So now full access, hopefully, to the ocean of knowledge. And if you like this video, please do a thumbs up and subscribe to our channels. And I'm hoping to have more formative videos on Arabic learning in the next few months, inshallah. Jazakallah khairan for your attendance. Assalamu alaikum.